Everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Oh, is it an Isaac run? Is it a whatever run? Doesn't matter, okay? I'm gonna play as Isaac, because we haven't won in a little while, I feel, unless we won on the last run, in which case, disregard. I know that out of, like, the four videos I recorded yesterday, we won at least once. I seem to remember, uh, tearing ass. Maybe with Brimstone plus Polyphemus, that seems very, very familiar. Uh, we're on an XL floor here, so all bets are off. Unfortunately, uh, or actually, I guess fortunately, we have picked up a key. So we are going to be able to access our first item room. Maybe another one if we end up getting another key, and indeed we did. Somebody up there likes me today. If you're wondering why I just left that Spirit Heart sitting there on the ground. Ooh, three keys, actually. Now, d d you know, I'm freaky, but we don't need three keys. That doesn't really make any sense. Also, I'm probably the most vanilla dude on the planet. But again, I've expressed my opinions on that many a time. Why does vanilla get written off as plain, man? Vanilla's pretty, it's darn tasty. I don't, if I drink a glass of water, I'm not like, ooh, that's got a real nice vanilla hue to it. Doesn't really make any damn sense. When you talk about ice cream, people are always like, oh, you're just gonna get vanilla? How boring. Oh, but you're gonna get chocolate? Let's be best friends. It's fucking silly, is all I'm trying to say. Because vanilla's the finest of the flavors, as the bare naked lady said. Our first item room contained, uh, Doctor's Remote, which is, sorry, um, not Doctor's Remote, Teleport. They're both very similar in, the, uh, similar in that they're both remotes, and they're both very similar in that they're both pretty bad and uh, not really going to be something that's going to fit into my master plan for how we're actually going to make this run work. Okay. I'm really actually very happy about the, the amount of keys that we're getting, okay? Not so happy about the amount of uh, hits that I'm taking from G here. There was a key G gish joke in there somewhere, but instead it ended up just being awful, and I apologize. Okay. Uh, consumables, like, coming out of the wazoo here, almost to the point where I feel like, you know, I could probably open this golden chest, tends to pay out a little bit better than your average, uh, iron chest. I'm assuming it's made out of iron, I don't know, it could be like potassium feldspar or something like that. Uh, yeah, and, you know, we basically got a bomb for a key there, and a few cents as well, which is awesome because I do... Uh, want to get enough money to go to the shop now that we have the keys to back it up. Opening that golden chest isn't going to inhibit us on this floor in all likelihood. This is just ridiculous. Oh my god. I'm telling you, man. I'm playing Spider Mod. I'm not playing the original version of the Binding of Isaac, or the Steam version of the Binding of Isaac. Wow, bad items all around. Uh, you know what? We should use Dead Sea Scrolls once. Just to see. It's a yum heart that didn't do anything for us, but could have. Uh, and there's another terrible item right there, but maybe we'll be able to get a penny out of it or something. You know, poop makes the pennies drop, nothing there. Um, but yeah, I'm playing the uh, the spider mod version of the Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. And I know that Spider's working on Rebirth, like he's actually been contracted to work in Nicalis uh, on Rebirth. And I almost wonder if he's sneaking in, you know, a little bit of information here, if he's changing the drop rates around. So, I mean, he can't do it remotely, I think, which is what is fucking me up. I don't even know, man. It's a weird situation. I realize that I've lost all of my uh, spirit hearts, whatever, though. I've seriously had like a lot of people tweeting me and they're like, I totally agree, like I've been playing Isaac and the rate of uh, nickel and dime drops is just through the roof now and like the rate of key drops has gone way down and I'm like, we can't all be imagining it, right? I've got like a Richard Dreyfus in uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind thing going on right now. I'm gonna end up at a, a mountain in Wyoming sculpting a mashed potato uh, pinnacle or something like that. I don't really, clearly it's been a while since I've seen Close Encounters of the Third Kind. It's a good movie, though. It's, I, I probably shouldn't have seen it when I was 12. That had more of a, an effect on me than I would like to admit. Uh, just that and Whitley Stryber's communion really contributed to a very healthy fear of uh, hypothetical extraterrestrial life. Uh, anyway, what do we have? We have 9 volts. That means that what we are going to do is come out here and reroll this item room. They're both equally bad in my eyes. And this time we get Mom's Bra, so we're really going to invest in this first floor in... Uh, Knocking some items out of the pool that we never want to see again, and that's okay We are gonna buy the 9 volt and the reason I did things this way obviously is because it gives us an extra reroll So we'll pop this bad boy on mom's bra and we get the shears I'm actually I finding it. I'm finding it kind of comical at this point that uh, We exclusively get active items out of all of our shops. That's like the sixth active item or sorry item room Sorry, um, that's the sixth active item. I think we've gotten on item rooms on exclusively this floor which is um, really funny if it doesn't, or if it didn't, you know, give me a substantially lower chance of actually being able to win the run. That being said, the troll engine giveth and the troll engine taketh away, and the troll engine definitely gave it right there with that eternal heart that I'm gonna do my best not to forget. Luckily, as a result of having the uh, 9 volts, we are going to, sure, ah, we might as well get the 
Eternal Heart then. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of rerolls. We have at least one more available on this floor. I mean, this one and then one more. Uh, the question is whether or not we want to use it on the item room again, and the answer is definitely if this doesn't bank out for us, uh, we're probably gonna want to save it for a deal with the devil instead or something. Let's be honest, we're gonna end up picking Abel. There's no way we don't pick up Abel, because uh, if we ha get another reroll and we don't want to use it on boss items, or the deal with the devil, then what we're gonna want to use it on is the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls reroll. I forget what it became. Uh, Boo's poop. Yeah, it became poop, so we definitely want to use it on that. Abel's a bad item, and considering we invested like four or five rerolls into that item room alone, it sucks to be leaving with it. But, you know, you've got to compromise sometimes. At least we got a passive item out of it, and we'll move along here. First fight is gonna be Steven. This is not re-rollable in my opinion, or it's not wise to re-roll it at the very least. I think Steven, uh, whether we get little Steven or regular Steven, is a pretty solid upgrade. I'd prefer the damage upgrade, but little Steven has done good work for me in the past, so uh, I, I'm not gonna be too salty about it either way. And we could really use a familiar that will actually like shoot along with us. As you're probably noticing right here, we're not doing very much damage. Uh, a decent reason for that, beyond the fact that we're just at base attributes, obviously, is that, uh, you know, Abel is on the other side of the map, which is great, sort of, on rooms with crowd control, uh, where that's, like, a real issue, but for us right here, it's actually a, a curse, because it's not actually giving us any extra damage, which is stupid, and this is gonna be the longest Steven fight of all time, but that's okay. We just hang out. And uh, fire a couple more shots in, we should be totally A-OK, -okay, good to go. What do we get? Little Steven, that's fine. And uh, it's theoretically true that I should maybe go reroll poop right now, just in case we end up getting a boss fight plus Krampus. I mean, obviously we're getting a boss fight, but just in case we get Krampus, um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it's uh, probably more likely that we just get a regular deal with the devil and then we'll trade for it and see what happens. Uh, obviously, high damage would be amazing here. Packed mark, etc, etc. Those are items that I like to pick up. We didn't get Mom's Knife last time. We may have gotten Brimstone last time, but I didn't get it from a deal with the devil. I got it from a uh, curse room. By the way, people have told me that uh, if you use a judgment card... When, typically, when I get a judgment card, I'm always like, oh, well, we should uh, save that for a deal with the devil. And when it doesn't happen, then I just kind of pop it. Ooh, that was close. Uh, and a bunch of people have told me that if you actually use deals with the devil, or sorry, use judgment on a curse room, then you'll get the same item pool for it. And if that's the case, that would be awesome. I just don't, don't know if it is indeed the case. So we have the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Um, got a bunch of spirit hearts there from the, the box as well. We also got a speed upgrade pill. Two of clubs is fine. And we get Brimstone and Guppy's head. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm playing like the way that I feel gives me the best chance of success, we do take Brimstone. So I'm going to be true to myself here. Why do we take Brimstone? Not just because it's a good item, but also because it means we can keep our other reroll. There was no way I was paying two hearts for Guppy's head at this point in the game. But it means we can use our other reroll uh, on the item room here. And by using our other reroll on the item room, maybe we'll get something that's better than poop. And hopefully we'll be able to build a good run out of this. I'm out for blood here. I want to win. I, I haven't been on uh, as good of a streak as I would like. And a full suite of orbitals has actually turned out very, very nicely for us. So in, uh, you know, just basically two rooms without combat, we've created a really nice situation for ourselves here. And I think we're in uh, a good position to possibly win. We definitely have the spirit hearts to, to start doing that. We are going to have two HP, which is fine considering the damage that we gained on this floor. And after some fairly dubious starts... There we go, uh, actually getting some good value, so allow me to rehydrate for a second here. We're on the Caves XL, which actually doesn't bother me that much. The only thing that bothers me about it is we're really getting a, a much lower number of shops. Uh, oh, come on. Oh my god, the, uh, the orbitals actually blocked that shot from coming in, which is kind of crazy. By the way, I'd like to point out, uh, I know that a lot of people just dislike Brimstone, and I get why, because it's kind of like, you know, when you get Brimstone, it kind of removes some of the fun of having, like, tier effects and stuff like that. I still find it very fun, and that's why I pick it up, but I, I hope that uh, when Rebirth comes out, you know, Edmund... Edmund... I, why can't I pronounce that? Okay. Edmund McMillan has been uh, teasing, basically, a lot of item combinations from Rebirth that have synergy that previously didn't. And a lot of them have been things like uh, Brimstone plus items, which I think is a really... Neat way to show that off, because as of right now, you get Brimstone, it's Brimstone. Is it a high damage Brimstone? Is it a low damage Brimstone? It's it's always Brimstone, right? Um, but yeah, like things like Triple Shot with Homing Shot and Brimstone, that has synergy now. Uh, and I, I'm really looking forward, I know that this is such a, wow, wow, bad damage. Um, I know that this is such a Northern Lion-y thing to say, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how Brimstone works in, uh, in Rebirth. 
Obviously, I expect it to still be very good, maybe even a little bit better, but I also think it'll be more exciting for viewers, which is important, uh, because the, the synergy will make it so it's not just exactly the same thing every, every single time. So, two of clubs. Do we want to use that two of clubs card right now? Sure. That way we can hold on to the Emperor card guilt-free and hopefully not leave it behind. Taking a lot of damage on this floor, I'm not proud of it, but it's alright. We're, uh, still doing just fine. Very linear floor here to start with, which is... Or, like, now that we've gotten to this point, which is kind of weird. Do want to go to the shop, but I don't have the money for it. If I end up getting the money for it, I would absolutely love to go to the shop. So, we may look for a secret room, but keep in mind, of course, that we are on an XL floor, and that typically means that secret rooms are pretty hard to come by. But we have the keys necessary to open whatever doors we want. You're always missing something on an Isaac run, or you're usually mis missing something on an Isaac run. What are we missing right now? Money. Uh, I'd rather be missing money than uh, almost any other consumable, though. Uh, I'd, I'd rather be missing money than keys, that's for sure. Because at least you can still get items when you're missing money. You just can't get a certain combination of items. There we go, and you should pop up too. Sometimes little Steven is really annoying because he, uh... The, the homing shots that he fires are way too good at hitting the turrets. Which is a good thing when they pop up, but when they don't pop up, it's, uh... Annoying. As you can probably relate. Alright, since Brimstone is, uh... Uh, like a spectral shot, basically. We can just easily do that, and we're good to go. One bomb uh, could allow us to find the second secret room as well as getting a chest here, so that's a no-brainer. Well, uh, we ended up getting a tarot card, which is the hero font, so one bomb gave us two spirit hearts. It's like blowing up a tinted rock. No question that we would do that given the choice, and uh, rerolls are available, so why not finally get some good use out of them, hopefully. Fistula, pretty much an ideal brimstone fight. Really looking for HP at this point, but I would not complain about getting damage. Uh, sorry, you must have misheard me. I will complain about getting damaged, but uh, I won't complain about uh, getting some extra damage or tears. Beyond that, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it, but that covers pretty much the most likely bases. What we really don't want is like a range upgrade. Uh, okay, we'll take it. I want to see what pills we have in our rotation here. Pill number one, health up. That makes it all worthwhile. We'll take another speed upgrade. Could this be a good one? Friends till the end? Hey, it's fine, yeah. And we're gonna get a little Chad here, so I really hope we get to deal with the Devil, so I actually have something worth re-rolling. So we basically got an HP upgrade there, let's be honest. Uh, that's fine, it's not the best payout we could possibly hope for, but certainly we've had much worse payouts from Mom's Coin Purse. Uh, and I think, on the whole, Mom's Coin Purse tends to be a little bit better than your average, uh... We did get a deal with the Devil. Uh, a little bit better than your average, uh, boss room item, but it can obviously get much, much worse as well. So Guppy's Paw is a really interesting one, Sister Maggie's not. We rerolled both of them, and I don't want either of those, unfortunately. Now, we are at six cents, which means that, uh, theoretically, pretty soon, we could have enough money to go to the shop. Seven cents is probably enough to open up the door, at the very least, because that will, uh... I know there's one there we could use a bomb to get, but I don't want to do that, because pennies are pretty easy to come by, usually. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Unless my orbitals are the greatest orbitals of all time, and they are. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, seven cents, considering the number of keys that we have, I think it's totally worth it if we end up wasting a key. So be it. I'm really just shocked that we haven't found any of the item rooms yet. You would think that these would be pretty easy to come by, considering that this is not an enormous floor. It's really unfortunate because we're not really gonna have, uh, as much opportunity to reroll as I would have liked. Uh, actually, even if we come across an arcade, I don't have none sad, but I have, uh, nine volts, so... Our rerolls are, are very much neutered. Hopefully, we don't suffer too much as a result of that. Plenty of money here. Still would love the ability to, ability to fly, but not like this! We've got the ability to kill flies quite easily. We'll definitely take our money here. If we end up fighting greed, so be it. Hey, that was lucky. Um, if we end up fighting greed, so be it. Yeah, no big deal. We have gotten a little stronger on this floor, but not uh, quite the huge boost that the last floor was. I'm starting to look at this map and be like, are there just no item rooms? That would be kind of a shitty thing to do, spider. But I guess they're all just at the end here. I kind of thought that this room would be a dead end, but luckily it's not, and it looks like... Okay, uh, is Judgment more valuable than... The yeah, I think Judgment is more valuable than the Emperor card. What about this one? That's the second Judgment. Well, we need to use one of them. Okay, one second here. This is gonna be a complicated floor towards the end of it. I did not anticipate that. Get the magnet! Uh, I wish that I will have a chance to reroll it, but we probably won't, to be honest with you. Because this is gonna be the end of the floor, so the magnet is probably what we're gonna be stuck with. That's not very good, but whatever. And lard! Lard's actually great for us. We've gotten a lot of speed upgrades, so, um, having the extra HP is quite nice. 
Hopefully Abel will do his part and actually destroy some of this fire. And here's the answer to that question is no. Why am I shooting the fire? Because money is actually pretty important for us here. I guess the first thing we'll do is go to the shop. Or maybe, like, since we have a judgment card, there's no curse room on this floor, which is nonsense, but, um... We'll go to the, uh, boss room just in case the deal with the devil room stays there. And if we end up not picking up the magnet, like, it's actually not a big deal. I realized that I didn't pick it up as I walked away. It might cost... Yeah, it would cost us, like, a penny right there. But, anyway, I just want to see if maybe we get a deal with the devil. We don't, uh, so I'm... I don't really want to just throw down this judgment. I'd rather go to the shop and, and see if we can spend our money there instead. But also, two judgments is, uh, we will use a bomb to get this penny now. Or we can just get the magnet, but whatever. Um, uh, yeah, you know, two judgments could pay out way more than a shop. I don't know, we'll see. It's an interesting proposition, at least. At the very least, getting lard and another HP upgrade on this floor is, is good. We also got, uh, well, we hypothetically will get the magnet. The judgment cards could be items. In our shop, we end up fighting Super Greed, which is honestly an ideal situation for us. Why? He's either going to pay out with money or an item, but either way, um, it'll give us a reroll that we can use to reroll maybe the magnet, vindicating me for not picking it up yet, I guess. But the money will also be useful when it comes to playing at least one of these judgments on this floor, because we definitely want to take the other judgment down with us, but we don't want to just waste one judgment by not touching it. Hey, good dodging there. Lots of Super Greeds available. A little bit more money might drop at the very end. We picked up, what, five more cents? It takes us to 18. Theoretical chance we can get two judgments to pay out with that, but we only need one for now. All right, you know what? Let's put judgment in here. I was kind of worried about this, but at the same time, I was also kind of hoping for this. So uh, there's lots of red hearts on this floor that I can draw from, and we'll just uh, gamble the shit out of demon judgment. Gave us another speed upgrade, which, yeah, sure, we can, we can afford it. We can afford that right now. Um, Luck, this is one of the few situations where I'll actually say, like, it's lucky we have little Chad, but also that chariot card was basically like getting four free plays, which is pretty awesome. Four or five, actually. Uh, it pays out with the bird foot, which is pretty terrible. Keep it up, though. I'm, I'm very happy with the way this has gone so far. And we get another pill that's another speed upgrade. At this point, we'll probably say no to that for now. Let's go get some health and then... Ah, uh, you know what? We have, uh, we have one more play that we can use here. Let's go get some more health afterwards if we need it and play him. Oh, ah, that was stupid. I didn't mean to do that. We lost half a spirit art there. That can't be replenished. So you don't want to be this guy. You don't want to be me there. That was a silly decision. Um, can we get these red hearts without the magnet is a good question. There we go. There's one there. And, you know, if we end up leaving with only, you know, half of a red heart but four and a half spirit hearts, we're going to get back to full health anyway. Uh, it's very unlikely that even if we run into the necropolis, it's going to end up doing uh, enough damage to kill us before we can get our health back. So I feel pretty confident. Kind of just want to take the speed upgrade pill just so it's out of the way, but... Alright, no such luck there. Let's continue our uh, backtracking here. We might want to put down our other judgment just so that we can maybe get some red hearts off of it. And we're also going to come over here and reroll the magnet as well, now that we have the chance. Half of a red heart, that's kind of not what I was looking for. We have an Emperor card, and we have another judgment card. I'm not going to take the speed upgrade, we're already fast enough. Let's see what we get in our item room. This is definitely the last reroll. It's the bean. So we ended up losing out on the magnet. It's kind of no big deal, though. Let's see if we got a secret room around here. No. Um, don't want to use too many bombs, because there's an awful lot of uh, possible locations here. Okay. I'm just going to come down here and get all of the red hearts that are available on this floor. And then, uh, and then we'll see. The thing is, like, if I put down this other judgment... It's possible we could win red hearts off of it, but it's also possible that uh, we will instead just have two demon judgments and we've wasted one effectively. Okay, so we're gonna come back here. Demon judgment, please pay out with something good, not nine lives. Uh, yeah, ability to fly would be amazing. And I'm willing to even sacrifice a few spirit hearts to make this happen if we have to, though I would rather not. I'm also looking around for more money just in case it would help us out on the next floor, but whatever. Okay, uh, spent a lot of resources, one more, uh, might have been able to, like, kick that out of the way and use it for this purpose instead. Nope, okay. Two more plays on this. Hopefully we get something. More consumables would be fine as well. Hey, we got a pill. Okay, we don't know what the pill does. That's scary. The pill is friends till the end. We do know what the pill does. Okay, we're gonna play, we're gonna start losing some spirit hearts here to make this happen. What's that tarot card? Temperance. It's very clever. Um, I'm getting a little nervous here. High Priestess. Temperance. 
Uh, let's play until we get down to two spirit hearts. Okay, there we go. We got Lord of the Pit, the ability to fly. Nice! What do we take to the next floor? Uh, definitely want to take Judgment, even though that Temperance card is, is good. I think it's much better for us to, to handle things this way. So that was scary, but I do think we made the right decision there. And ability to fly, Brimstone is quite nice for us. Lots of HP if we can get it back. Sucks that we won't be able to use the Temperance card, but we got something better than, uh, better than a, uh, a Blood Bag, so that's fine. And I think this floor has turned out quite nicely for us, provided I haven't accidentally killed myself without knowing it yet. Meaning that basically, provided we haven't taken ourselves so low on health that uh, I won't be able to actually make this run work. Alright, didn't kill any zombies with that bomb, which is kind of a rarity. A little bit more money. I would expect that we find a good shop on this floor, or a shop without uh, um, a shop without a mini boss in it at least. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second, because now I'm thinking about deals with the devil, because that's where I want to use this judgment card, obviously, is on a deal with the devil, or in a pinch on a curse room. So you know what? Why don't we why don't we test the theory right now? We got a couple of pills in here. We don't really know what Oh my god, are you kidding me? Is one of these full health? Tears up and a telepills. Okay, well that's fine. Um, we always know that there will be a demon judgment in there if we get a lot of HP. And that's good. It actually is good to have another Demon Judgment, another possible uh, Deal with the Devil item for free, sort of, but we're obviously not in a position to play it right now. And that's okay, because, uh, you know, let's just consider that like a long-term speculative investment inside of our shop. Uh, Nuns have it. Wonderful. Fantastic. More than happy to get that. No red hearts. I definitely would have picked one up if we had the, the opportunity to do so. But now with uh, Nuns habits and the 9 volt. I am pretty confident that we're going to pretty much be able to reroll whatever we want. Still have an item room on this floor, speak of the devil. Actually, we still have two item rooms on this floor and two boss rooms, but very, very low chance of actually getting a deal with the devil. Um, because of the, the mechanics of the, not only XL floors, but also just the mechanics of the mom fight make it uh, probably the rarest room to get a deal with the devil on that it can actually spawn on, I would say at least. And uh, remember, the more health we get, the more likely we are to be able to play this demon judgment. Gotta play it pretty aggressively a lot of the time. Why can't Demon Judgment just pay out in like two plays on average? Well, then it would be far too overpowered, I guess is the answer to that question. More Spirit Hearts, always nice. Really shouldn't have played Chicken there, but I did not fathom a, a world in which we didn't do enough damage to, to kill them in one hit, but I guess I was wrong. Item room number one contains Telepathy for Dummies. This is a terrible item. Gives us a good chance to reroll it. Uh, Book of Sin, alright, so we're, we're doing the library game now, I see. Uh, and ideally, I would play Demon Judgment before the end of the floor, so we have more time to get red hearts if, if possible. Uh, and play it some more, or just get back to full health, because keep in mind, you know, we do have little Chad with us. That will help us out in that uh, regard, theoretically. I don't know when we play him, but, but we'll play him. Especially now. And especially that we can get in there without uh, hurting ourselves on the way in. We only hurt ourselves on the way out. And we should have a reroll when we go for it as well. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll take Blood of the Martyr. That's just a damage upgrade. But just a damage upgrade is pretty nice. It looks like the compass is probably going to be something that is a, a bit of a pipe dream for us here, but that's okay. Uh, one of the things I wanted was more damage on our shot. Uh, Brimstone was not quite doing as much damage as I, I am comfortable with it doing. Hopefully we find a way to improve that even more in the future. But for now, it's fine because we can fly and we have infinite range. But uh, certainly I would prefer it to be better. Got some free bombs. That's fine as well. Uh, kind of just want to look for our item room before I worry about this Demon Judgment. There could be an arcade on this floor as well, but Demon Judgment is probably more valuable. We'll see. We've got the Spirit Arts to back it up again. Spirit Arts have been coming fast and furious. Uh, really expected there to be another one there, but instead we just got uh, a key. But that's cool too. I know we're wasting rerolls by not doing this right away, but I really thought that the item room would be a little bit closer. You know what? Let's go to our uh, let's go to Demon Judgment. Sounds like I was passing it off to like a co-host on a game show or something like that. Let's head over to Demon Judgment to talk about the shitty prizes that third and fourth place are going to win. Thanks, Ryan. We're giving away uh, used Casio keyboards that your grandpa used when he thought he would be a member of Hall & Oates in the 80s. Courtesy of your grandma. I always thought like, if you go back and watch like Legends of the Hidden Temple shows like that, like all the money that they had, I'm going to reroll it. Yeah, much better. All the money that they had, uh, like, went into the sets. Legends of the Hidden Temple is a pretty impressive set for a kid's game show. And you would expect, like, oh, they probably get, like, some dope prizes. Admittedly, first prize is often, like, a trip to Orlando to go to Nickelodeon Studios. And I imagine for a kid, that's pretty awesome. But second and third prize are seriously, like, a $10 Indiglo watch. And you're like, 
I, like, did they, they didn't pay their own way to, like, that's the other thing is that it's freaking filmed in Orlando at Nickelodeon Studios. So, obviously they're already there, but I don't know, does Nickelodeon fly them out there, or do does, does the kids, or let's be honest, the parents have to pay for that themselves, and then they get there, and they're like, I want to be on Legends of the Hidden Temple, and then they're like, you win a trip to Orlando, Florida to go to Nickelodeon Studios, you just know the dad's there, like, oh good, another like $500 in, in meals, here we come, even if they pay for my freaking hotel and everything. Gotta cart these bastards, these ungrateful pieces of shit around with me forever. Anyway, I might have some problems with my family life, or the way I, the way I think of children anyway. Let's come down here. We're gonna gamble a little bit on the blood bank, um, which is also, you know, what I would do if I had kids, I think. Right after our second trip to Nickelodeon Studios in sunny Orlando, Florida. And ho obviously hope we're hoping for the uh, blood bank here, or blood bag, I should say. We're out the blood bank, silly. The money is kind of meaningless, but we did get good payouts from those demon judgments. So those two judgment cards that dropped, we can now like take inventory of the items they gave us. What did they give us? Lord of the Pit, good item. And the Pact, good item. Our damage is really improved as a result, and our defense is really improved as a result. So those two card drops were exceptionally unlucky. Thank you, Ace of Spades, for not tainting them by making them, uh, you know, playing cards. Most of the time I would want them, but not this time. So we should really find like another reroll pedestal if we're gonna play the Blood Bank more. Because we have uh, the ability to basically use a reroll engine. This is a textbook Isaac run right now. Uh, whether you feel good about Brimstone or not, we've we've made some good decisions and uh, we we've made some good swaps with the D6 as well. We're not going to be able to reroll Gish here, so the only reroll pedestal likely to remain is our uh, last remaining item room. It's fine by me if that just chooses to be good right off the bat. Really struggling with damage still to some extent. It's not like we're not doing any damage at all. But maybe I'm just acclimated to, like, uh, the, the Polyphemus damage that we recently had. Anyway, I, I fully expect that the uh, Gish fight may actually be more difficult than the Mom fight. At least, uh, I think it'll be longer. We'll see. And one more shot should do it. We'll have Little Gish, which is an awesome item to slow enemies. And uh, we don't want to go fight the boss right away. That's fine. Thanks for the Red Hearts, by the way, Gish. Oh, wait, you didn't drop any. You freaking lady. Uh, having a slow is wonderful. Uh, we also have... A lot of familiars carting uh, or being carted around right now. Didn't really mention it earlier because they've kind of not been super useful relative to our other items, at least after we picked up Brimstone and the ability to fly, of course, and the, the pack, etc., etc. Uh, but it's nice to have. Sure, we'll use the Justice card, why not? Oh, play the Justice card, why don't you? Wheel of Fortune, that is a, a free item on the, uh, on the chest, if we hold it that long. There are better cards to take with us. One item on the chest is not necessarily worth that much. But, um, sure, for now we've got nothing better to do, so why don't we just hold on to it. Plenty of Tinted Rocks on this run, I'm, I'm pleased about that. Decent number of Red Hearts, and we get Spider Butt, so Spider Butt is a total reroll. Uh, any day of the week, as long as we have a reroll anyway. So that's our third book taken care of here. It's pretty weird, uh, we've almost, like, exhausted all of the library options just through never visiting a library, which is something I probably would not have expected to be very likely. Certainly in Isaac it's possible, but not super likely. Have we seen Book of Revelations too? I can't remember. Well, uh, what do I do? I come back down to the blood bank and we gamble on it like crazy and use it as a, a reroll engine to generate more rerolls for the item room. Hopefully we end up going into that boss fight with a reroll as well, but even if we go into it with only spirit hearts and like half of a red heart, that's fine. No, no worries there. I'm trying to see if maybe we can earn some more red hearts here just by, you know, doing our little gamble gamble. Uh, yo gamble gamble. Again. Weird upbringing, perhaps. Uh, let's uh, go into the top right here. And this will allow us to hopefully get... Uh, what do I want? Let's think about this. More damage. I want to stack up more damage. Oh, uh, it's my damage and I want it now. That's basically how I feel right now. We re-rolled it into uh, Remote Detonator, which is an interesting item, which we've talked about a little bit more than usual lately. It's not very good right now, but there are situations where it could be fun to use. If we had it along with Pyro, I think that would be really cool. Problem is, I don't think it would help us very much on getting to the final bosses, but it would help us a lot on the final bosses. Not that we necessarily need it right now. Alright, so another uh, another two plays and another two cents. So well, actually another seven cents total there. Um, and we'll end up uh, getting a reroll. I'm just spending some time down here because might as well gamble while we're here. Maybe we'll get some more red hearts. Fly Love is a Probably a reroll pedestal, to be honest with you, if we win it. And we did. All right, so Fly Love, uh, it's not awful, necessarily, but we'll reroll it. And it also gives us an excuse to not have to backtrack upwards, which I think is good. 
Sacrificial Dagger. We'll take Sacrificial Dagger is fine. It's not amazing, but it, it'll do the trick for us for now. Uh, gives us a full suite of orbitals, which is cool. Thank you for that half red heart. And of course, we are gonna um, maybe gamble till we get down to 35 cents, then go up and, and check out that item room again. That's awesome. We'll have some more uh, gambles down here that we can use. Have we gotten a luck upgrade? I, don't, I think the answer to that question is no, but whatever. Well, we're at 37 cents, so let's go back down to 35, as mentioned. And, oh, okay, we got 37 cents, so we'll go back down to 35. Bloody Penny would be such a good trinket, but we, we don't have it. Okay, uh, you know what? It's just getting a little ridiculous right now, game. We're gonna head upwards and uh, re-roll... What was it? It was Remote Detonator. We're gonna head upwards and re-roll Remote Detonator. I don't think it's particularly useful uh, in our current situation. Maybe later, but for now, uh, kind of a, a waste for us. So, we'll re-roll it. My best friend, it's terrible. It's a terrible item. So, prepare yourselves for uh, the age of re-rolls, which is continuing here over at uh, youtube.com slash northernlion slash most recent slash uh, make sure to smash that like button so I can free the next episode from the chains I've got it roped into in our basement. I'm just kidding, we don't have a basement. <laughs> this is Vancouver, do you know how much that would cost? Alright, so we are just going to uh, continue to gamble a little bit, I guess. Do I sound beaten down? I should, not because, you know, this is a bad run. It's actually a really good run. But I feel I have to do my due diligence on this blood bank, but it's just fucking tedious, man. I, I, you know, Dark Souls? Common complaint about Dark Souls 1 was that if you wanted to pop like seven souls of a lost undead or something like that, you had to do it one by one, and that shit was tedious. Lemon Mishap, fantastic. Um, that shit was tedious. Common complaint about Isaac. Gambling is super useful, but also very tedious. Please put a slider or something in. As long as it won't crash the game. That would also make using the D20 so much more fun if you could just say like, okay, I want to put all 70 of my cents into the slot machine, just pay out with whatever you want, and then, you know, whatever, basically. Yes, we're low on health, um, that's fine. We're still trying to generate some rerolls here, because I really want, I want both of the items here. You know, the blood bank is a means to an end, but it's also an end in and of itself if it gives us the blood bank, blood bag, every time I'll make that mistake. Just get used to it, basically. Uh, we're gonna continue to gamble a little bit longer. If the next reroll doesn't work out, I'm out of here. Bombs are key. That's fine. I'm, I'm content with that, actually. We didn't get Guppy's tail, but uh, that's good because it actually ended up giving us the pact instead with our reroll there. So what are we doing here? We're playing to get some more uh, HP. All right, we're not gonna get it, so we'll just take one more reroll by losing half the spirit heart, and then we'll explode you. Shouldn't have done this uh, just in case there was a uh, an HP item in the item room if we went back to it. I just really find gambling so tedious in this game. Uh, super helpful, don't get me wrong, and has definitely saved me on a, many a run, especially recently because I've started actually doing it. But it's also just a little bit boring. And we get Peeper's Eye, so is that a damage bonus when you have Brimstone? I don't know, but it is another, you know, familiar kind of following us around. And that's, a, that's okay. But we're gonna actually start making some progress again soon, so ideally from uh, Mom we get the Pentagram. I would love it if uh, that happens. I doubt it will, but our next big chance for getting a big damage bonus is probably the deal with the devil on the next floor, but I don't hold that a lot of hope for that because I'm pretty confident that we're going to get another XL floor based on our track record so far. So let's see uh, if we are indeed as strong against Mom as I considered that we would be. Eh, we're doing like 1 20th of her health per hit. It's not very good. It's not awful, though. We can make it work. Why can we make it work? Uh, because with our... Oh, that was stupid of me. But with our orbitals, if I'm a little bit uh, brazen, things like Sacrificial Dagger will do a ton of damage. So get out of the way. Um, and I should be able to control it if I take a little bit more damage than I'd like. So be it. The fight's nearly over. And really, I, I hate this position because I, I feel ungrateful. We've got some great items, offensively and defensively. But I'm a little ungrateful because my, uh, my base damage is still kind of not very good. So we got the 8-ball. That's a, a reroll and a half right there. Turn it into an HP upgrade, which is totally fine. Did we get, like, a single uh, card th that benefited from the Ace of Spades? I honestly don't think we did. We got two of clubs, maybe? Apart from that, I don't think so. Holy crap, we actually have a, a non-XL floor. I didn't think it could happen. I thought maybe that functionality had been removed from the game. Let's move around here. There we go. Peeper's Eye, Able, and... Uh, Little Steven and Gish are actually doing quite a number on the enemies. I'm surprised. I, I just keep hearing, like, enemies explode, and I'm like, what the hell is happening? 
Turns out they're they're doing work, man. Uh, we don't necessarily want to pick up that heart, but I did anyway. Half our interval be damned for now. We're in a, a pretty okay position. Hey, okay, Demon Judgment. This is an interesting one. We can get two plays for the price of one heart. Mostly, this just exists to be the absolute specter of my nightmares. We know this pill, it's, uh, yeah. I was actually gonna say that, believe it or not. And that's like eight plays, so I'm gonna leave. You know what, we're gonna go hard on this, actually. Because I want the benefit of the permanent Polaroid invincibility play. We don't need it. Okay, forget me now. Bad item! But now we have a reroll pedestal, which is awesome. And the money bag, not very good. So we're gonna use that as a bastion of, uh, hopefully an offensive improvement. That's, I, we, we gambled a lot to make it happen. And we're, we're down a lot on red hearts, but keep in mind, you know, we have little Chad, so I, I think our red heart situation is going to be totally fine. And we've had, oh, that was nasty. Uh, we've had a good track record with Demon Judgment so far. We have over full health still, according to uh, the Mob Trap Room. I should have gone back and used my reroll right away, because we might have gotten another one on this room. Look at the, it was crazy the amount of damage that the familiars are actually doing there. I'm, I apologize for kind of writing them off a little bit earlier. They're doing quite a good job here. And let's see if they can repeat it again on the, the Monstro fight here. It's mostly like if Peeper's eye stays in line with an enemy, that creates some serious problems for them. So, just make sure we, we can get in line with the enemy if possible. Peeper's eye did some good work there. One of the Monstros is dead. The second Monstro is dead at the hands of Peeper's eye. Sounds like a Robbie Robertson song. Also, Robbie Robertson, great name. I think he's Canadian. You know, he wrote that song, The night they drove old Dixie down And all the bells were raising the dongers and etc. And Twitch memes co-opted hilarity. In any case, uh, why did I pick up Skeleton Key? Mostly to remind me to always pick up Guppy's Tail. At this point, yes, the packed, great item, don't get me wrong. I like it a lot. However, uh, we probably would have been better off taking Guppy's Tail with 99 keys because, you know, the situation would give us a lot of other items maybe even give us the pact or give us items as good as the pact anyway um, and now that I think about it like taking skeleton key is basically just habit it's not probably the smartest pickup for us here because it's very unlikely we would have used 21 keys to begin with but you don't want to be that guy that gives up skeleton key and then all of a sudden you don't have enough keys later skeleton key is such a, a good item and so usually an automatic pickup that uh, it would be a, a shame to pass it up and uh, then be reprimanded for it, perhaps deservedly so. However unlikely it would be. In any case, uh, this floor is going fine, it's just slow. That's okay though. Slow is good as long as we are alive at the end of it. Don't have anything to use our rerolls on, but we do have rerolls. I'm seriously very impressed with our familiar composition here. These are not familiars except for Little Gish. These are not familiars that I would normally consider to be that useful. However, they're they're doing work here. Actually, you know what? I like Little Steven a lot too. Enough, at least. Um, but yeah, they're, they're doing good work. Not quite as much damage as the Brimstone shots, as you might expect, but um, that's, that's okay. You know, not everything can be one of the best items in the game. We're going to lose a Spirit Heart for this, so I really hope we get an item. Well, you know, we, we got some perspective. Let's put it that way. Let's see if we get a deal with the Devil after our fight against uh, Teratoma. Again, Teratoma, pretty much your ideal fistula fight. I expect that this is going to go real nicely. So, spiders are going to come out pretty soon. That's where the familiars can start doing their work. That's where the orbitals can start doing their work. I actually took some damage there, much to my chagrin. It's okay, though. Little Steven finished the job, and one Teratoma remains. One Teratoma's calling me, calling We're going to... I realized the pitch on that was terrible. It was deliberate. It was, a, it was satire. They don't even... I was a bad singer, but it was a joke. Uh, no, seriously. I'm a, I'm a terrible singer. Come to karaoke with me one time. I'll be the dude who is singing the Limp Biscuit tracks because they're pitchless and, you know, largely valueless as well, which is an asset at karaoke. Anyway, we're gonna just get you into the middle. Really hoping we find the boss pretty quickly because we are in, you know, boss rush mode now, basically. Kind of unfortunate that we don't have a compass. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, it is unfortunate that we don't have a compass. Oh, we do have a judgment, though. So let's just hope that judgment pays out with the compass here. It's actually not out of the question at all. Uh, the ladder is really bad for us. Not as bad as the hourglass. Actually, you know what? The hourglass is technically probably a little bit better uh, because the uh, the ladder is actually worthless when we have what we have. So I am going to try to get maybe uh, one more reroll and we'll see if it works. Otherwise, we're just going to bum rush the boss room because this run has taken a, a long time already. 
Uh, well, well, we'll check out our mob trap room as well. What can I say? I, I just can't quit you, Isaac. What do we have in here? Okay, not a golden chest, which is easy to pass by. Really didn't need to get those keys, but again, force of habit. Let's see what we've got on our uh, reroll pedestal. Sure, homing bombs. It gives us more bombs, which is effective for some of those late game bosses, including, you know, Mom's Heart. Not that Mom's Heart is necessarily either difficult or a late game boss, but it's nice to have. Um, it's nice to have some more bombs for the fight anyway. It makes us a little bit more comfortable. So you may be noticing I'm trying to do, uh, you know, a little bit of damage with our orbitals when I run in there to hurt Mom's Heart. Might as well, because uh, our base damage is not incredible, so whenever we have the opportunity to just get in there and uh, do a little bit of damage with Sacrificial Dagger, I'm going to give it a try. And I think that's actually sped up the fight quite a lot here. We're not going to have to deal with Chab. Good save. No one noticed that one. Very easy fight. No question about it. Probably won't take damage. Could take damage, but probably won't. All right, so it's up to the next floor. Good floor, good floor. Uh, we picked up an HP upgrade technically by way of that Eternal Heart. Picked up five bombs and homing bombs. See, I'm getting greedy here. But it's not greedy like, oh, I want more necessarily just to have it. It's greedy out of a little bit of desperation because Peeper's Eye, doing work, man. Um, a little bit of desperation because we're not doing enough damage, so I want to get out of these rooms as quickly as possible. Library is actually kind of hilarious for us to get here because we've already taken so many of the books out of the pool that I definitely think we'll be able to get uh, at least a chance at two items. They might not be two items we want, but uh, we should have the chance at least. And again, it's another reason this run's going to end up taking a little while here. I'm going to have to live tweet that the Super Sunday subscriber stream is going to be a little late. It's okay. It's well, you know, Northern Lion, you complain about your freaking damage all the time. Why not just take Book of Belial? Why don't you mind your own damn business, okay? The person that I made up in my head. D6 is still better for us, especially because of the augmentations that we've got for it. But it is, uh, you know... It's, it's an option. I took that option recently, actually, and it didn't end up working out very well for us. So I think I'm starting to uh, value Book of Belial a lot less than I used to. I really used to consider it like an upper echelon item. The best book in the game. Uh, I don't consider it that way anymore. I'll, actually, you know what? It might be the best book in the game, but uh, whatever. This the library is taking way longer than I thought it would. Is it the best book in the game? I honestly think that uh, Book of Shadows is coming up a little bit in my, you know, tier list, if I had one, which I don't, totally. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I actually think Book of Shadows might be better. And situationally, it's awesome if you can use it with, like, Nun's Habit on a book, uh, on a, a blood bank, obviously. Or anything else, like a, a curse room or a, you know, a self-sacrifice room, even, even though the payout on those is usually terrible. You know, so I, I, I do think Book of Shadows has a, a little bit more usefulness. Book of Belial has its place, though. Book of Revelations is maybe up there. It's hard to say. I used to really, really value Book of Revelations, but that value has changed uh, quite drastically. Still an okay item if you don't have a spacebar item, I think. Better than a lot of the dumb shit we've been presented with so far. I will get the bomb. There we go. Didn't even use any shots to do it. Too lazy. Unfortunately, we've reached a dead end. It's the longest fucking brimstone run of all time. Here we go. Uh, Mr. Boom, dead bird, bad items, but dead bird uh, we can't pick up and take out of the rotation. Dead bird actually makes the late game boss fights even more difficult, usually. I, I know that seems weird because it does more damage, but it also does damage over time, like consistent damage, so uh, it causes more shots that you have to dodge. I don't know. It's not worth it, in my opinion, at least. We're going to see if we can finally find this boss room. Oh, I really, really would love to get some more damage upgrades. Like, oh, uh, like I, I want to wreck faces with Brimstone, but we're not wrecking faces right now. We're frecking races? That doesn't really make any sense. Um, here we get Max's Head. That is a damage item and, and one of the better damage items in the game. Infestation is still dog shit, and I would know because we just ate a dog's head to gain its power. So, um... You know, that's something we're going to look to reroll, but uh, Max's head is actually a very nice upgrade for us. We're still missing, like, that one item, and that one item in this case is Polyphemus. That would really give us, like, a huge boost by itself to our damage. But Max's head is, is nice. It's nice to get a little bit more damage. It's always nice to, to hurt enemies more than they hurt you. Almost phrased that in a very terrible way. It's not always nice to hurt people. It's, it's almost never nice to hurt people. Kids. Sometimes you gotta, like, you know, self-defense, something like that. It's okay. But apart from that, you should be nice and do what, uh, like, 
the dude on TMZ does only hurt people with your words. Because words can't actually hurt people, as we all know. Um, let's, uh... You know, I, I know that people envy celebrities all the time. Please do not consider me a celebrity, because I'm genuinely not. Uh, it, only in, like, the most, like, third echelon Z-list type way. Um, but I do hang out with uh, Tom Skerritt all the time. That's a joke from something, but I've forgotten what it is. But, you know, there's, there's reasons to envy celebrities. Money, fame, prowess with the opposite sex. Absolutely, right? Uh, but I feel like it would also be really shitty to be a celebrity and just have, like, uh, you know, cameras in your face all the fucking time. Like, that would get really old really fast. Uh, I think even, like, the first time it happened. I mean, maybe you just gotta be a special kind of person, but people are always like, Yeah, fuck that celebrity. That celebrity fucked up and is exploding in, like, a glorious social fireball. And you're like, you know, let's get some schadenfreude out of that. It's, uh... It, it feels good sometimes to watch people that have everything fuck it up a little bit, but at the same time, you just want some privacy sometimes. I kind of sympathize with celebrities a little bit because of that. And it's bullshit as well if you're about to say, like, Oh, they have all the money in the world to, like, wipe their tears with. Yeah, they're rich, but that doesn't mean, you know, you should violate their rights. It's a weird parasitic industry to me, like the paparazzi and, and gossip industry, whatever, though. Sometimes I just want to go out and buy, you know, like a pizza two nights in a row in my sweatpants. And if I want to do that, then I have the freedom to do that. But if you're a celebrity, you got to be on at all times. Otherwise, someone's like, oh, what's that? Looks like she didn't brush her teeth this morning. Miley's got a case of the yellow chiclets. I don't even know. I'm Clearly, I'm not in that industry, so I don't know. But seriously, I have some sympathy for that. It's weird. That being said, I also do, uh, you know, get great pleasure out of watching things like Justin Bieber's... Uh, is it Deposition? And it's, I think it's that's what it's called when he was in jail. Well, not in jail, but he, he was in custody and had to give... Uh, like sworn statements in the court because he's got an attitude problem, and then, you know, that's uh, I'm, what I'm. The whole, the whole the whole moral of that story is that I'm a hypocrite. That's what I was trying to say. It might have seemed like I was trying to make a point about privacy and celebrity and and you know life in the spotlight. She's so lucky, she's a star, but she cries, cries, cries with her lonely heart, etc. But really, the moral of that story, and it was a convoluted way of saying it, is that I'm a, I'm a hypocrite. So and that's that's fine. You know, you can be a hypocrite with me if you want to. Let's see what we've got in our chest now. Finally, we made it down here. Miter's pretty good, Yum Heart's not very good, Chup de Whoop is the worst, and, uh, well, we got some synergy that we can use here. Odd Mushroom gives us a little bit of extra damage. Should probably take the Miter, let's be honest. The other two are re-rollable, so let's, uh, just get that done. And actually, before we re-roll them, we'll put down the Fortune Teller and blow it up. We, uh, oh, thank you, Keeper's Eye. We went through the trouble of bringing it here, so now, uh, we can go through the trouble of, uh, doing this. Bob's Curse. I think it's good enough to pick up, because we'll use bombs on the, uh, on the Blue Baby fight. Monstro's Tooth and the Rosary. Rosary's pretty good. Monstro's Tooth is terrible. Do we pick up the Rosary right away? Sure, why not? Saves us a little bit of time. Alrighty then. Should be interesting. I think we've got a very good chance of success. You know, I, I always instinctively shoot Sloth first for reasons unbeknownst to me. But we should really go, uh, go for Sloth last because the tarot cards that Sloth gives you for killing him last are potentially game winning. Or at least they can help out a, a great deal. Um, he gave us the Fool card here, which is not going to be that item that we need. Pinky Eye is actually pretty good, though. I think we can take that instead of the Polaroid, because the odds of us getting more than one permanent Polaroid invincibility are basically nil. Which is fine, uh, you know, one permanent Polaroid invincibility could save our lives. Super Lust, such a gosh darn annoying fight. But the slow actually makes it way more doable. Normally, they move so quickly... Health up, wow. Uh, normally, they move so quickly that it's actually, um impossible or at least very difficult to not touch the creep as you run away because they chase you down faster than the creep disappears. Doctor's remote, really bad. But with the slow, uh, it becomes way, way more doable. So um, we're going to come back down and does Pinky Eye even work with Brimstone? I think the answer to the question is yes, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, okay, just come back down. I'll take a hit here if I have to, to get you guys in. Oh, you're not going to be in sync with one another. Okay, so bombs. That was actually a pretty nice coup there. There's some poisoning going down. I don't know if it's a result of uh, Bob's Curse or if it's a result of uh, Pinky Eye. I think we may have had a Pinky Eye there actually work. One of the Monstros is dead. This is a tough room if you uh, if you just handle it on your own. So I chose to, you know, use uh, my bombs as a crutch. That's okay. Bombs are crutches. That's the name of the pill, isn't it? So 
and we'll have Monster Two come in here. Seriously, like your health bar's been empty for like ten seconds. All right, let's see if this fight actually ends up working out. Ah, you know what? We should come back down here, and should we pick up Doctor's Remote? It'll be like a little bit of burst damage. No, we'll reroll it, and we get Celtic Cross. I would rather have the Doctor's Remote in all honesty, but at least we're uh, we're finally gonna be freed from this run one way or the other. A little bit of a, a dragging run, but that's okay. Inside of our boss room. We end up fighting against Blue Baby. This is gonna be a long one. Um, Celtic Cross is like the better version of Permanent Polaroid Invincibility. We're gonna use a lot of bombs here. Well, it's not a better version of Permanent Polaroid Invincibility. It's better in our situation, though. Um, using a lot of bombs, using a lot of... Uh, a lot of our orbital damage. Reason being, it actually does way more damage this way than to constantly be firing in with Brimstone, so... We'll, we'll use bombs until they run out. Um, or his health runs out, whatever comes first, I suppose. And so far, so good. We're gonna take a lot of damage on this fight. It's a very lazy way of doing it, but it's also a pretty good way of doing it. Pretty good way of getting it done, at least. And uh, next Celtic Cross Invincibility. Do some nice orbital damage again. Maybe we won't get another Celtic Cross Invincibility, but we have so much HP that we can tank the shit out of it, and it doesn't even matter. Get in there, and we're good to go. Thanks for the Spirit Art. Really useful. You should be dead. Not even gonna attack. Just let my orbitals do my damage for me. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, make sure to click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.